Yeah, small town motorhome in the big city. We're doing it. Can you see my signals on? Can you see the signal? No! Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. But Uncle D, everything's already been found. What? Like everything? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I bought a motorhome, and I'm hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter, and this is Destination Adventure. Come on, boys, we'll see where this road gives up. Blacktop and gasoline. expected things to change from the little coastal Oregon towns to probably some bigger cities here in California going through a little town called Oric I think that's how you pronounce it pretty much this whole place is abandoned look at this just one building after the next pretty much deserted hey <laughs> Look at this motel. Wow, we. This one's all boarded up. No vandalism or anything yet, so I'm assuming it's not abandoned. It's just shut down and boarded up. How crazy is that? With the price of literally everything in California being so high, I'm surprised to see a, uh, this whole town pretty much just sitting deserted. I'm curious if this is gonna be a pattern down the coastline or if this is kind of an anomaly. There's the buzzards circling in to get me. a failed business you guys know I love abandoned places pretty good start to California here you won't forget the quakes they get in your bones and I've seen the flames taking cities whole all my kings and queens and aces now discarded to the fire every dollar every boardwalk every ticket on the line take all these tokens i don't need them now let's stand on highway 101 and once you get into California, you start going through all of this beautiful old growth redwood forest. And I just passed a sign that said Avenue of Giants alternative route. So I took a bit of a risk and I whipped the motor home off the highway. And I just got out the map here and just past Eureka is Highway 254. That's where I turned off. And it looks like it parallels along 101 for quite a ways. I am just surrounded by great big beautiful trees right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that whole route. It's a narrow and windy road, so I think in the motorhome, it's gonna take me a good percentage of the day, but I think it's gonna be a really nice route. I saw every shattered pane And every shadow in the waiting And every fear without a name I saw every crimson tail light flame mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This is pretty darn cool here. There's supposed to be a tree that you can drive through. Obviously, the motorhome's not going to fit, so taking the longboard. I don't know if you pay for this or... This is cool. Oh, here it is. We're going for it. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, dude. Ooh. Here in America, if you don't drive on it or through it, it doesn't even count. <laughs> Totally freaking shred of those trees. I don't know if it's just the off season or if this isn't traveled very often, but this place looks deserted. Sun's starting to go down. I think it's really dark in those big trees, so let's whip it out of here. Look at how tall this thing is. Wow. <laughs> Look at how small the motorhome looks with all these big trees. What a beautiful spot. That's Highway 101 right there. And it kind of goes inland from here and I want to stay on the ocean. So I'm going to switch over to Highway 1, but I know it's really windy. That's today's big challenge is getting down the hill. And I just noticed this sign. My coach is 36 feet and then I have another 20 feet of trailer. But uh, I don't know if that sign is referring to trailers. We're just gonna go for it. Freight train leaving the station. And to top it all off, they're warning me that there's a car doing a burnout for the next 13 miles. What the heck? It's already stressing about the hill. On a Coming up on our first hairpin turn here, it is a little hairy. <laughs> I kind of like this hill. It's just the right amount of challenge. Not sure what this place is. I think we're about halfway down. I'm just gonna let the motorhome cool down for a little bit. Let the transmission cool down. And there's some cool stuff here. We're gonna check it out. Look at this old truck. Wow, we. This 
place is amazing. This is an old fire truck, look at this. the roof on here oh man she's not gonna last long with that much moisture up there and wait wow <laughs> so cool guys ready to make our way down the rest of the hill Oh, let's whip it. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at moves. No, I don't care because I am on my way. Oh, yeah. We made it. Look at that. The ocean. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise. Uh, no, I won't stop. It is my time. In a little town called Fort Bragg. It's a very, very nice little seaside town. And I have about an hour before the sun goes down. Less than an hour it looks. There's a beach here called Glass Beach. And apparently it's covered in glass from back in the day when they used to dump garbage there. So we're gonna go check it out. I won't slow this little down. path splits a bunch of different directions. I'm I have a feeling I'm not gonna find it before I run into daylight here. Sand through. Everything's about to come my way, and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray. Oh, yeah, I'm on the wrong way. I don't care because I am on my way. Up, You're and there. I won't stop. I won't slow. Down. Don't get stolen. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise. Up. No, I won't. It is my time. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe it. Look at all this glass. It's amazing. Yeah, us humans are no good sometimes, but Mother Nature finds a way to make it beautiful. Found the prized piece of glass. Look at the color of that one. Just amazing. Wow. What are the chances of that? This beach has been picked over probably by many thousand people. Just found a real silver bracelet. Right in there where I found that bracelet. Dug around a little bit. Found some more metal. Copper, aluminum, and another piece of silver. I think it's also from the bracelet. And I found this piece of glass. Still has some inscription on it. I don't recognize any of it, but you're not allowed to take any glass from this beach. So I'm also not going to take the silver stuff. It's not hurting anything being here. So in my opinion, it kind of belongs on the beach, 
beautiful spot though, unbelievable. The sun setting. I wish I brought a better camera. There's birds sitting out here, just silhouetted perfectly. There's something copper stuck on this rock in here. Like an old piece of garbage, but. Not sure what that is. I think it's a copper spool from a little DC motor. I can tell this is a fork. It's got the four tines coming off of it. Then the handle here. It's totally stuck in that rock. It's fused right in there. <laughs> Pretty wild. Okie dokie, sun is going down and we have to find a place to park. Let's get out of here. couple of days I plan to stay on Highway 1 down the coastline hopefully as far as San Francisco and that is a decision that I would not regret. The California coastline has given me so much more than I ever expected. Prior to this my vision of California was big cities and people and smog but this coastline is so beautiful it has history it's healthy it's green and believe it or not it is rugged. I'm very thankful that I chose to do Highway 1 for my route through California, but even more so, I am thankful for my experience behind the wheel. If I was going to do this trip again, I would definitely take Highway 1 again, but it is not for the faint of heart or the beginner. It is steep and windy and narrow, and in the summer I'm sure it's heavily trafficked, but for me, on this trip, it was perfect. I did, however, notice about halfway down the coastline that this episode doesn't have a destination, which I'm beginning to realize is okay. Far too often on my adventure pursuit and on this channel, we go from one destination to the next, and I forget that this is destination adventure, and the adventure is everything in between, and there is a lot in between that I would love to share with you guys, so I hope you also enjoy these in-between episodes. I'm just about to merge back onto Highway 101, and this last section of Highway 1 was pretty stressful, I'm not gonna lie. On the tail end towards San Francisco, there was a lot of traffic, and that highway is tight and windy, but everyone was super respectful, actually, so I really appreciate that. But I came all this way because I wanna take the moho over the Golden Gate Bridge. There's no way I came all the way over here without taking my girl over that iconic bridge. It's 20 minutes to four right now, so let's hit it before rush hour. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken I can see it coming up. See it through the mountains. I've tried to be my own all in all and everything, but it's just been a hard and arduous thing. I never get excited about anything in the city, in any city. I'm a little bit excited about this. It's just so cool. The motorhome. All hell. Here we go. <laughs> we're on it, you guys. Woo! We're doing it. <laughs> oh my God! It's amazing. Look at it. <laughs> I can't stand the weight of most priests. Stop and stay 
Look at the Alcatraz, it's right there. Oh. Questioning my own path, who knows how long it will last or where it will go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too touristy for you guys. I've been to San Francisco twice before when I was working on cruise ships, but this is my first time doing it all on my own. And I couldn't be doing this on my own without you guys. So it was kind of special for me to go and take the motorhome over that bridge. And it was important that I bring you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoyed that. But most of all, thanks for watching everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. I'll catch you on the next one. Now I take one step back and I watch what's going on and I relieve the need to know with a broken heart and mind and arms laid down you're a war and hate and arms left in the light of day and let Jesus show the way but hey I'm not the religious and I'm old since I can't stand the way that most priests talk and the state church or I